What do we got here? Ooh. You know it's from Gold Belly. It's got to be good. Let's check this one out. A nice thank you from the New York City Wine and Food Festival. I got an au pois kit from Raul's. Burgers, buns, classic Raul's au pois sauce, plenty of peppercorns, and a couple beautiful steaks. Thank you very much, guys. Welcome back to Cooking with the Gay Buns. The graduation edition. Max graduated elementary school, and Amanda graduates middle school tomorrow. Super proud pop over here. We're going to do some grilled salmon off the barbecue. We're going to hit a little, little spice rub, and we're going to make a green olive tapenade with lots of fresh dill, red onion, garlic, and lemon. So first, we're going to marinate our salmon. I'm going to use a little bone-sucking sauce seafood rub. Nothing wrong with buying your own rub, or you can make your own. But what I like to do is take that dry rub, we're going to hit it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and we're going to turn it into a little wet marinade. And that's what we're going to marinate the salmon in. You see that? Marinate up a little bit, and then coat each piece in it a couple hours ahead of time in the fridge. For that green olive tapenade, we have a lot of chopped green serignola olives. Make sure you buy them pitted. Trust me, you'll save yourself a lot of time. We're going to put some very finely diced red onion, a lot of fresh dill, and then I'm going to show you how to make some lemon, lemon segments in a second. So, we got red onion, a lot of chopped green olives, and a lot of fresh dill, and a little bit of garlic confit. This is how you make lemon segments, it's called supreme, okay, very important. You take off the top and the bottom, and then we're going to go right around the outside, take off all the skin, and you want to get the white off as well. What we're looking to do is carve out the segments very carefully. You should be using a paring knife, but I'm not. And that's exactly what you're looking for. You see that? That's a lemon segment. I got a whole bunch of them over here. We're going to chop these up and put them into the uh, tapenade and create a nice little vinaigrette salsa tapenade kind of thing. So all that chopped lemon segments, chopped up nice and fine. We're going to fold that into our tapenade. Very important, make sure you get all that juice off that cutting board. You need all that lemon juice. We're going to hit it with a good amount of olive oil. Sits in the fridge for at least a half an hour to an hour all those flavors to come together. Super hot grill, I gave it a good scrub. I've showed you this before. A little bit of oil, makes a little non-stick surface. Then we take our marinated salmon, put it on the grill, and let it sit and do nothing. All right, you got those salmons grilling. They should just gently, you see that, release. I'm gonna give them a quarter turn. So we're gonna get some hatch marks on them. Just a little quarter turn, from another direction, a few hatch marks, let them cook. All right, a couple minutes, about three minutes on one side. Give them a little flip, a nice char, especially from that spice rub. Let them finish, looking for a nice little medium rare. Salmon just to go, nice and medium rare. Just gonna pull them off the grill. Oop, a little flustered on that one, but that's okay. And of course, we got some grilled lemon. You know I love the grilled lemon. And top of with some olive top of that. Salmon is almost done. You can spoon the tapenade right over the top of the salmon has been already grilled in and ready to dig in.